안녕하세요. Hello and welcome to Kathleen's Korean Food Challenge. Hi, I'm Kathleen Choi, a Korean chef now living in beautiful California. I travel in search of other chefs to challenge them in creating some of my favorite Korean recipes for the first time after I taste their signature dishes. My basket is packed with my magic five Korean ingredients and I'm off to find my next challenger on this episode of Kathleen's Korean Food Challenge. 안녕하세요. Hello and welcome to Kathleen's Korean Food Challenge. The recipe for today's challenge is omandu, which means fish dumpling typically stuffed with beef, mushrooms, and vegetables. Omandu originated as a royal palace delicacy back in the 17th century, but today it is made and enjoyed by most people in Korea on special occasions all year round. Unlike other dumplings, which are wrapped with thin wrapper skins made of flour, for all mandu, we'll be using thinly sliced fish fillets to wrap the fillings. For the fish fillet, white fish such as halibut, flatfish, tilapia, trout, and codfish are typically used. For the stuffing, I'm not going to use any beef today, but instead, I'll be using two kinds of mushrooms and vegetables. One of the most commonly used mushrooms for this particular dish are brown oak and shiitake mushrooms. But today I'm going with the wood ear and enoki mushrooms, some of my favorites. For the vegetables, I've prepared fresh mung bean sprouts, beautiful minare dropwort ferns, and seedless English cucumber. Here I have a cod fish fillet. We need to season the fish with some salt and pepper. I've pre-mixed some sea salt and crushed pepper. Remember to season it on both sides. Now we'll let them sit for about 10 minutes while we work on the rest of the ingredients. Here are some dried wood ear mushrooms which have been rinsed and soaked in water for about half an hour. Before they are hydrated, this is what they look like. All I'm going to do is slice them up into small thin strips like this. Remove the middle part because they are a bit tougher and chewier and maybe harder to digest. Next, in a bowl, season them with some soy sauce, sesame oil, garlic powder, and a little sugar if you want to. I'm sure you've noticed this in my past episodes that in Korean cuisine, we normally season and pan fry the ingredients separately and not all together. This way you'll be able to retain the unique flavor, color, and texture of each ingredient. Next, I'm going to slice up the cucumber. First, cut it into about one inch length. We want to use the skin for the green color, so slice it around like this and then julienne them in thin strips. Normally, we saute the cucumber and mushrooms, but today I'm just going to use them as is because personally, I love eating raw vegetables. Plus, it'll save us some cooking time. As for the mung beans, rinse them under cold water and remove the tails of the sprouts. They go very well with the minari ferns. First, brush off any loose dirt or particles with a paper towel or a brush. Then just cut off and discard the roots. Since they're still about two inches long, I'll cut them in half to match the length of the other vegetables. As for the minari ferns, you need to remove the leafy parts and just use the stems. For now, I'll cut the stems on this end and keep the rest in the fridge for my stir fry. Now that we have the filling ready to go, let's work on the fish fillet wrappers. First, I'll boil the water in a steaming pot and then add the dumplings when they're ready. Make sure you pat the sliced fish fillet dry with paper towel before coating it with the corn flour on the inside. The thinner the fish fillet, the easier it is to roll and wrap the filling. Put some filling on the sliced fillet and add a couple of pine nuts. 
roll it and coat with starch all over the surface. You can also use a toothpick to retain the shape of the mandu and hold everything in place. I believe the steamer is ready. It's been heating with some water in very high heat. It is important that you use a cotton cloth so the dumplings don't stick at the bottom. Close the lid and steam the dumplings for about 5 minutes. Last but not least, we need to make some dipping sauce for the fish dumplings. In a bowl, add 1 tablespoon of vinegar. In this case, I'm using my favorite white grape vinegar. 1 tablespoon of soy sauce. Half tablespoon of pre-made hot mustard sauce. You can make this by mixing yellow mustard powder, sugar, and horseradish. To this, I'm adding one tablespoon of oyster sauce. If you don't like oyster sauce or don't have any, you can omit this part. Now that my dish is ready, I'm off to meet my challenger for today, celebrity chef Brian Malarkey. At his restaurant, he calls it Sear Sucker. It's located in the heart of Gaslam Quarter, San Diego's fine dining and culture district. Welcome to Sears Soccer. Thank you so much. How are you doing? Great. I'm here with the Chef Brian Malarkey at the Sears Soccer restaurant. Yay. So tell me, why did you name it Sears Soccer? Is there a special meaning behind it? Um, it's my, my love of uh, the summer suit, horse yeah. racing, a little bit of the south. Um, you always feel good when you're in a Sears Soccer suit. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, the blue yes. and white suit. Yes. So, but today, what are you going to make for me? What's your specialty dish? I got some sunburst clams for you, and then I want to take a little bit of my Northwest background. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to poach them in some white wine. Oh. Um, we have some fennel, some oven-dried tomatoes, a little bit of uh, some summer corn. Wow. And then what I, uh, what I do is a little twist on that is I actually smoke um, some salmon and throw the smoked salmon in with the clam. So, I mean, kind of like, I mean, you think of like a chowder, a clam. It's all those things really wow. go together nice. So. My favorite seafood. Perfect. Great. Yeah, so. So, uh, well, I'll let you go and prepare the dish, and then we'll come back for the challenge. You ready for this? You ready yes, for this? Yes, I'm ready. All right, Brian Malarkey here again at Sears Sucker. So what we're going to be making today is one of my all-time favorite summertime dishes, all right? I used to go to the coast, uh, Oregon, all the time. Dad would feed us salmon and feed us clams. So that's the inspiration right here, all right? So fennel, I like to do a, I like to keep some of the top. I cut the big front off there, cut the heart out a little bit. Little light heat right there. Turn it up. That's a little bit of uh, canola oil right there. Gonna hit a little bit of the fennel in there. Put a little bit of caramelization, caramelization on that. It's gonna take a few minutes. Stay tuned, stay tuned. Look at that, that's the good caramelization right there. That's what we're looking for. That's the natural sugar cooking in there. That's where the good flavor is, all right? 12 more seconds on that, and we're gonna just build this. This is fast, this is furious, this is the way I like to cook, this is the way I like to eat, all right? We're gonna hit it good. Get a little bit of garlic in here. Here's the clams. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Vino. And Julia Child's favorite ingredient in all the world, butter. Get ready for the grand finale, all right? I'm gonna garnish it, hit it with a little bit of uh, our Italian parsley. Slice it up. Take a little bit of this fennel frond. Take a little bit of lemon. Making sure that they're all popped open. Sometimes you gotta knock on the door a little bit. Knock, knock, knock. If it doesn't open, don't eat it. Time to finish it up with our herbs, fennel frond, Italian parsley, and this is where we put in the magic, all right? Take some of the smoked salmon, get it right down there. Oh. Oh, you smell that? Oh, you smell that, people at home? Oh. Beautiful. Right there, 
a little bit more, a couple of slices of lemon, eat it with some bread, drink it with some wine. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. Nice, huh? Nice! Ah, there we go. And now we have wow. a bowl of love. A little bowl bit of love. Of... Great. Oh Enjoy it with some of the wine that we used to cook with. Wow. What's that wine again? Uh, it's a Blanc? Sauv Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. They make phenomenal wow. soft blocks. It's a great summer wine. It drinks like water. You know how they say some wine is like, you know, really food wine? Yes. This is yeah. just wine, all right? This is the best. Salut. Thank you, Papa. Wow. So how do I eat this? Is this like for a party of like 20? No, 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 no. It's a lot, a lot of shells and stuff in there. So first of all, you know, this is like the breaking of the bread. A little, get my a little bread for you right there. What? A little bread for me. Mm -hmm. You want to try a little bit of the broth. You're sure. like, Ooh, right in there. And That's you got the all, best way. Oh, you got all this good stuff in there. A little bit of the salmon. A little bit of that tomato and fennel and corn. <laughs> oh. And then it's like finger food. And you got a little spoon, a little fork. Yeah. Bowl after bowl of giant of uh, these clams. Yep. It was so good. I love it. That's my that's my summertime dish down here at uh, Searsucker. Delicious. Great. Um, try it. Go myself. <laughs> what? It means super delicious. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Thank yes, you so very much. Good. Thank you so much. Are you ready for the challenge? I don't know if I am ready for the challenge. I'm slightly scared oh, of these. On. You know, um, I, I was on the Top Chef show and there's yes. a lot of challenges and I was like, I'll never do any oh. challenging competitions again. It's but not a competition though. That's true. I, I can win or not. I don't, yes. I'm not a winner or a loser. I'm just, nope. I'm just going for it. Yes. Just kind of put a little Korean flair on it. Let's go. Okay, but first I'll let you taste the food blindfolded. Oh, yes. <laughs> waiting go. for the part. All right. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been blindfolded. This is a little different setting than I remember. Oh, okay, there you go. Now I'm going to give you the food. Okay, you just have to open your mouth. <laughs> oh, oh, no. This is. You ready? Okay, there you go. Got a little cold, but you know. Supposed to be warm. Just taste it. What do you taste? Shishito. I mean, not shishito. Shisho leaf. Oh, similar. Uh -huh. Seafood. Uh -huh. Boily. Uh -huh. Clean. Clean. Yeah, clean. Touch soy. Mm -hmm. Soy. Is it spicy? No. I like spicy. Good. I didn't put too much spice in there. Bring it. I'm not scared. All right, okay. <laughs> Here's your. Basket of ingredients. Ready? Done. <laughs> All right. So there's some stuff in here that I may need and there's some stuff I may not need. Actually, you probably need to use all of it. You have all of this in your dish. Yes, I do. Really? And actually, this is the main key ingredient. It's the fish that I wrapped up, you know, so it absorbs all the moisture. No mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Then have you tried I don't this? even know what this is. It's very Korean. They call it the uh, woodier mushroom. It's dried, so you have to hydrate it. That's well, a little you, you bit of even, uh, white. I know it's natural and organic, right. but those are the only words in English on this one. <laughs> white grape vinegar. White grape vinegar. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorites. And then this is, of course, you might have some. Really? Here. You have sesame, black sesame. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. That's pine nuts. You didn't taste any pine nuts in there. Mm. That's actually uh, the Did Asian, eat? yes, the Korean hot mustard. How hot? Spicy. <laughs> Garza and cucumber and some corn flour, cornstarch. Have you seen that? I don't even know what this is. It's Korean, it's called chame. It's like a cousin to cucumber, but it's very sweet, just like a little mini cantaloupe, you know? <laughs> All right, I'm off. Okay. Some leafy something or other. Fresh, slightly bitter. Good, nice, interesting. And what I thought was shisho leaf is definitely not shisho leaf. It is big, minty. You say, what is it? 
sesame leaf. Sesame leaf, I've never had sesame leaf before in my life. I know I have to hydrate my mushrooms first, all right? Do a little wine here. You know, you could use water, you could use wine. I don't know how strong these are, so we'll do, we'll start with that. Get them steaming in there almost. Perfect. Let's cut up some cucumber. Mushrooms. Pine nuts. Let's toast these up just a little bit. Let's do a little sesame oil toast on those, all right? I get it. I got it. Mmm. I do like that. Let's get in here and take a look at our fish. We got most of our mise en place done. We got some nice greens we'll pick at the end. Let's take a look at our, our fish right here. Oh, no. No, wouldn't be nice enough to fillet the fish for me, would you? Huh? Huh? Oh, I see what's going on here. Well, good thing this is not my first uh, rodeo. It's beautiful, no? All right, so what I've done here, I got my mushrooms all hydrated. I wanna serve them cold, though. We're gonna shock them, and then we're gonna wring them out. Those fluff up nice. You saw how small they were to start with. They jump right back up, they're ready to go. Look at that, look at that. Oh my gato, oh my gato. And what I'm gonna do is because I noticed that the scale's already removed, so somebody went through the hard work of doing that, so I might as well keep them on there because good skin cooked properly is absolutely incredible. What we're gonna do, lose a little bit of that tail, a little bit of that. A little salt. A little pepper. I'm gonna take it and hit it in the flour. I'm gonna steal some oil from my line cooks down here. I'm gonna do, just kinda dust each little piece. A little bit of this flour. Crisp off our skin a little bit. High, high heat on that right there. What I'm gonna do, take one of these saute pans. Sorry. Perfect. What I'm gonna try to do is like a little sesame. A little vinegar. A little mustard. Just a touch, I tasted it, it was super hot. Oil. Salt. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. 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 Kind of what I'm thinking. I'm gonna put a quick little saute on the mushrooms. Yes, 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 he's liking it. He's liking it, he sees a strong finish coming up. Take some of this leaves right here. We'll make a little salad. All right, got that in the middle. Oh, the grand finale looking good. All right, now what I wanna do, 
gonna take my melon, my cucumber, my greens, my vinaigrette. Make a little cold salad on top. Ah, ah. What I, I use all my ingredients. Garnish with a little pine nut. Reach back into my magic pocket. Vinaigrette. I love the color so much of the mustard. That's for whoever wants to get a little crazy. Right there. Boom, boom, boom. Chocola. All right, all right, so uh, my inspiration here was, I know that you gave me that one delicate, nice little bite, and it was all perfect and rolled up and tasted so great. But we're down here in San Diego, and San Diego's kind of known for the fish taco, so I thought maybe I might throw a little bit of my own little fish taco, a little bit about Southern California on here. So the idea is you take a little sesame leaf there, take a little bit of this, a little bit of your cucumber, a little bit of your green, so grab my spoon down here, take some of your mushrooms right there, fold it all up. I got my own little taco right there. I love it hot and spicy. <laughs> ah. mm. 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 This is my version. It's called all mandu. All mandu. Mandu like a um, dumpling? Yes. So it's fish so filet yeah. dumpling. Yeah, the fish actually looks like rice, like a little rice cake. I huh? know. I put like you. I coated it with the corn flour, yep. and then I just roll the vegetables up and I steam them. Really? So just take the whole thing, wrap this up, and then dip in the sauce. And what's your sauce? It's actually got soy sauce, oyster sauce, and vinegar. That wasn't in my basket. <laughs> I know. I just added that as a touch. I mean, you don't have to use oyster Super sauce. Good. You like it? Yeah. Now you can taste a little tanginess, right? Mm -hmm, the mustard. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's funny, you're the first one who ever had a chance to taste your own food <laughs> for the challenge <laughs> before I got to. But that's okay, at least it's good, right? So I'm gonna I, do I it. I dove in there, yeah. I'm gonna use my fingers like you did. We always do that, finger foods. And I, oh my gosh, yeah, so sauteing, all these ingredients and the melon, you know what? Actually, the melon wasn't really part of this recipe, but I wanted to see what you do with it. It's very Korean. I had fun with it. I yeah. love it. That's the best part. Mm. Mm. I love the skin on it. I usually do the same thing, mm. just with skin on the fish. Oh, beautiful. And I have As something promised. for you. Very nice. It's a Korean one. And I saw there's a little bowls in your kitchen, which is very similar to the Korean bowl for the wine. Is it really? Yes. And try it out. See if you like so it. So, yo, kids, if I'm walking around getting crunk <laughs> on one of these bowls now, all right, it's acceptable, all right? It's what they do. There you go. And... It's a rice wine? Rice wine. And taste it, because it tastes very different. How do you it's uh, spritzy. Yes. It jumps up and gets you. It's clean, actually, refreshing. Mm -hmm. I like it. Probably got really good with the hot uh, food. 7% alcohol. So it's like beer mm -hmm. in terms of alcohol level. However, the process of making this rice wine, makgeolli, is like similar to that of champagne. So it's between champagne and beer. I love it. Gosh, that was so good. I had fun. I had fun. There were some great flavors, great taste. Um, you know, it's fun. I want to go grocery shopping with you. Yes, and uh, definitely. You can educate me a little bit more because I, I definitely do not uh, speak the language and uh, <laughs> I would get lost in the grocery store. <laughs> I'd have not to open enough. I'd have to open and sample every single bottle so I knew but it was But you know, it. when you look at it as picture and you can kind of figure it out. But of course, I'd love to take you to the Korean market and help you shop. Perfect. Because some of the ingredients are really, I mean, it's organic, most of them pickle fermented and fresh ingredients. I'm sure you'll love it. Skip the grocery, let's go to the country. Everyone, on the plane, here we go. Yeah, better idea. <laughs> Thank you so much.
much. Thank you. I had a great yes. time. Yeah, me too. And uh, we'll definitely come back. Please do. Everybody come back here. Great food, especially with seafood and his cocktails. Out yeah, of this world. <laughs> be great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, everybody. Remember, life's delicious, so taste it. Have some da. Thanks for watching and be sure to join me on my next Korean food challenge.